Hello everyone, welcome to my tutorial on how to make a random weapon box on Halo Reach. It costs around $920, give or take 100. I say give or take 100 because you can improvise on some of the stuff I use inside the video. So here we go. First, you're going to want to spawn a spawn point. Why? Because if you end up dying somehow, like flying out of forge mode, you'll probably die and you have to travel all the way back. So whatever. I guess you're probably doing this on your map already. So I guess you already have spawn points. But anyway, spawn a block 3x3 three three tall. Why? Because it gives us enough room to work and it provides a platform also. I'm going to turn rotation stops to 90 degrees for now. We're going to use blocks 2x2 two two flats to make the base of it. You're going to make a whole box out of this. Except on the sides, you're going to do 2x1s. You want to make it perfect height. You don't want too high or too low. You want so it's just like this. You're gonna spawn a two by one flat, and then you're gonna make the corners intersect. You want them to overlap with each other. Now I don't use edit coordinates too much when the, final, when the final decision is being made. Okay, the last one over here on the other edge, you're going to want to put it aside for now because you're going to worry about that. You're going to need, need to get in later. But the back, do the same thing. And now I'm going to put in the crate we're going to use. It is a great heavy small I think. Yeah, great heavy small. You're gonna put it on fixed for now. You're gonna put it inside. As you can see I'm having some trouble. I'm sure you might also too. Might get stuck, but don't worry about that. Just place it and move the back of it. Here's me trying to fidget with it, see if I can get to work, but it's futile. So yeah, just move it back a little and there you go, it should work perfectly fine. And you're gonna make it you wanna make it flat at the surface, like this. And you're gonna do go down point two. That's perfect height for us. Now I'm gonna spawn you gonna wanna spawn a fusion coil. This is what pops it up and also puts it back down. Well, it doesn't put it back down, but it does that by gravity. But just something to rest on, I guess you could say. Don't put on instant respawn, because I've had some glitches with it. Like, you know, the minimum and max. Don't put equal. Not for anything that moves. For some reason, it, like, spawns it twice. I don't know, it does that at the crate. Don't do it at the crate. Because once it moves, it'll spawn another box. Want to make it? You want to try to make it even with the bottom, as even as possible, or center, more likely. There we go. I think that'd be good. All right. Now we're going to try to brace in the crate, that way so it doesn't move side to side every time we use it. I want to put it to the same level I guess, that way so it's not really noticeable. So down point two. But when you put it in, as you can see, it's, it seems a little too close, so you're going to back off a little. You're going to hold, how do you do that? you got to hold it in the left stick. I should have told you guys that before, but Do the same thing for the other side. Ah, that one looks fine. Okay. Right, I'm gonna test this out. No, wait, no, not yet. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna have to brace that in before. 
Now I do since the fusion coil doesn't usually spawn as quick sometimes because game lag you're gonna spawn you're gonna put a brace underneath it. I just I guess I use antenna smalls. It doesn't really matter what you use, but it seems like it's thin enough so that way a grenade can still explode it. Oh, I guess it really doesn't matter, but wherever you can find the bracelet, that doesn't interfere with anything I'm going to be making in the future. If it does, you can always just replace it. Doesn't matter. As you can see, I am having, I will be having trouble trying to do this. How I should just use block one by one flats. I put spawn time to 10, that way so I can test out how it lays down on top of the crate. I put up the crate by accident. But, as you can see, it's not even, so I'm going to lower it some more. That way so it's flush with the fusion coil. I didn't do it in the video, but you can also see if it's at the same height by going to the video. I mean, by going to the fusion coil and testing if it's flush with that. Alright, it seems to go up, but it doesn't seem to do anything, so I'm going to move the, this block right here. And there it goes, it goes down. Alright, good. I'm starting it around so I can reset it. I'm gonna put the back back on. And the side too. Now we're going to make the grenade area so that we throw that in a grenade. Spawn a wall, double, or anything that works. Make a sliver of a space to throw a grenade down. Okay, that's good. Alright, now we're going to make it go all the way down. That way so the grenade doesn't seem to escape either way. Already in, I think that'd be good. Mega floor two. And then because it too low might not be able to explode the fusion coil, so and then put it back to it. I'm just being sloppy, I really don't care how this looks. So, just the basics. You can use a 5x5 five five flat. And that was a fail. I put the frag grenade on six because it moves too much and I put on instant response so I can get him faster. As you can see it works. Except it seems to be lopsided, I'll fix that later. I really don't care right now. That's from the brace we made. As you can see the fusion coil hasn't spawned back yet, so it's a brace that's holding it up on the fusion coil. gonna spawn a one-way shield that way so the grenade bounces into the area it might just get stuck in a corner so I'm gonna put it at 45 degrees and put it like right about there As you can see, I'm trying to figure out what time do I want it at. I'm like, you know, four seconds is good. I mean, I figure people can't, well, why would you throw a good, think about it. If it's going down and 
explodes once and then it tries to go back down and then someone else throws a grenade like the same time you did it could pop it out of the box i'm not sure so four seconds seems to be good seems enough time for the, uh, the box to go back down so all right barricade off this area i always saw the grenade as an escape i'm gonna delete that why don't worry about that because i'm going to put a cover covers work better because you can get closer and it looks cooler Yes, you could use like a 5x5 or something. Whatever. No, because they're thinner. But no, this is better. I like this one. Now, as uh, you can see, and if you. The box isn't close to me at all, it's farther away than it is close. You could fix that. <laughs> I just really. Just did a tutorial, so I really don't care. As you can see, there's a giant space right there. I want to put it closer to the co cover. Anyway, so weapons here are easier to grab. Let's do this. All right, I'm moving out the back because I'm finally gonna fix the brace. That left one seems to be fine. The right one, there we go. That should be good. Yes. No, nope, here goes my LCD. All right, let's try this again. Nah, I don't think so. No, it's definitely not. All right. All right, that should be good. Oh wait, no, this one. Yes. Put the wall back, and haha. -ha. It's perfect. Again. Oh, you want to fill the um, a shield door? That way so the weapons can't be grabbed, even if you're on top of it, if you put jumping on your map, which I do not. That seems about good height. Also, you're going to put a shield door medium on the floor so that happens if your trade out weapon or any weapon that falls out of the box can't be grabbed so it makes grabbing a weapon a risk because it's random and you don't have a chance to switch back most of the time i mean sometimes it'll land on the edge but that's not really a big problem not everything's perfect I just moved that grenade so I can grab it because I couldn't when it was below the shield door or on top. <sighs> Alright, add your weapons. I'm just going to add a few, not everything I want. So you can add <laughs> a whole bunch, create like a fountain of weapons. I'm just going to show you how it works. Do 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 do. Do do do. <laughs> do, do, do. Oh yeah, I'm gonna put them in the center of the box. Okay, that way so the rare weapons in the center. If you put them in the back, they could end up in the front and you might grab them first. I don't know why, it's weird like that. But I like to put a lot of the less preferable weapons around the corners, so it's more likely for you to grab. Most of the time. And I, just, well, I think one more should do it. All right, that should be good. Let's test it out. Well, I uh, see, as you can see, the box is too far away. That's because I didn't put it close to me. But normally it would work very nicely. As you can see in my other video. 
the one I took time with. Aha, there we go. See, I got the pistol. See, sometimes like that happens. Oh well. I'm also lucky clean, so you don't end up picking up the weapon when you're trying to get a random weapon. And as you can see, some fall down. I guess that... Eh, that makes it more random, I guess. I, I really never try to stick grenades work down there, but I recommend... <laughs> I don't know, actually. I'm gonna say I recommend you don't try it, but I guess whatever works. Yep, I think that's it. There's my random weapon box. Thank you for watching. Sorry for this weird commentary. I have never done a commentary before. But yeah, thank you very much, and see you later.